Hey guys, welcome back to another nest with me video. If you have been following along or like remember when my daughter was born two years ago, she was born at 35 weeks pregnant and I will be 34 weeks pregnant this week. So I'm trying to get everything done before week 35, which, you know, we have no idea why she came at 35 last time. My water just randomly broke. There was no indication that she would come early. We still to this day have no reason as to why that happened. So I'm just getting prepared just in case it happens again, but it literally could be week 35 or week 40. So I'm going to have this like month long period of he could come at any moment. So that's kind of a weird feeling already because I'm already starting to feel a little anxious about it. This week, I feel like I'm going to have a lot to prepare for. I'm hoping to get most everything done and at least understand like what needs to still be ordered or set up or whatever. So right now I'm going to set up his car seat, which we did get a new um, car seat stroller combo. We ended up going with the Duna, which if you haven't heard of the Duna, it's super, super popular. I feel like literally all of my friends have it. I have seen everyone with it and I've just heard the most amazing things about it. So we did end up going with the Duna car seat stroller combo. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to try and put it together on camera with you guys. So. If you are somebody who's looking into the Duna or are looking into newborn car seats, you can kind of see like what this one's about. And yeah, so let's go ahead and put this one together. I'm putting this thing together I actually didn't even realize this because I have never had one of these and I obviously never had to use one yet because we didn't have it with our firstborn you can use the Duna <laughs> this was probably like everyone probably knows this already and I might just be like just now realizing it but you can use this Duna car seat with the base that it comes with or without the base so like if you're traveling to a city and you can't take your car and you just need to get in your friend's car or like an uber or whatever you can literally s strap this car seat in without a base and there's instructions on how to do it so i have to figure it out before i'm able to like show you guys which... all right so i pretty much have figured this thing out i just watched some videos and it's actually weirdly simple i say weirdly because i'm like i thought it was going to be more of a learning curve on my end, but it's pretty simple. So let me show you how to fold it and unfold it here. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and install the car seat base into my car. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like in the car seat. And then also if you don't have a car seat base, how to just strap it in with your seatbelt.
had just picked Shay up from school and we moved her car seat to this side, just behind the driver's seat. Um, obviously, so we could make room for the baby's <laughs> new stroller, like car seat combination. And when she jumped in the car from school, she goes, she goes, what's that? And I said, that's for the baby. The baby's going to sit there. And she goes, I get to sit next to the baby. <laughs> it was like the cutest thing ever. Because obviously I get worried that she, I don't know, I just sometimes get worried like bringing a new baby in with a toddler. Like you just hear sometimes that they just don't accept it too well. But based on everything that's been happening, I feel like Shay is going to be so excited for this new baby. Um, she already calls him by his name and... Yeah, it's just very sweet. Okay, next on my to-do list is I have to get all of the clothes that my my old my twin sister actually gave me a huge box of clothes. She has two boys and they're obviously older. So I'm getting all of her old clothes, which is great because we have a similar style, of course. And I didn't have to start from scratch with boy clothes, which is awesome because I feel like Everything I bought Shay was pretty much pink. I feel like I get like a misconception that I dress Shay in only beige and that is not the case. She wears pink or purple pretty much every day. So I didn't have a lot of like boy options. Hold on, I think someone's calling me. I have a little break from work so I'm going to start getting these clothes that my sister gratefully handed down to me organized. I'm going to try and see what sizes we have available and then what I need to order. In case you hadn't seen my previous nest with me video. I'll link that one down below. But I did find these awesome drawer organizers off of Amazon. I say awesome, they're not like, they're, they're not anything special. I'm acting like they're gonna be like some crazy miracle, but let me show you these. So they're, they're just the regular like bamboo dividers and I did double them up. So there's one down here and one on the top. And I did that so it can kind of like hold the um, baby clothes in correctly so i did put a few in there just for example from my last video but i ordered some more of these bamboo holders which should get here today or tomorrow from amazon so i'll have this drawer and then the drawer right below it i'm gonna have clothes and then i did get some a different type of bamboo organizer this one is they have like the slats that you can insert additional dividers like on the inside so you see these ones don't have the slats in them and these ones do and what I really wanted to do, of course, is organize some of the just baby necessities stuff. Like we have a thermometer, like a nose sucker, just some baby Frida stuff. And then like a teether, just some stuff for the baby. I'm going to put his like pacifiers in here. There's just some like tech stuff like the sound machine, portable sound machine and a fan. And then some more of these. And I think I'm going to put like burp cloths here and then probably pajamas here. That's kind of like what we normally do. This is kind of how we have it set up in my daughter's nursery. So yeah, I thought these ones were good to have like the additional like dividers so you can like have different things in each. So that's that one. So let me take out some of these clothes and we'll start to go through them. So my sister gave us this massive box of her boy clothes which again, I am so, so grateful for. Like, I'm not having to start from scratch. Like, I get all of this stuff. But I have to go through and kind of like organize what can he wear right away? What do we need to put away for the time being? whole tub and I am so excited I literally don't need to buy anything like for newborn phase look at this huge pile of clothes that she has I mean granted she had two boys so this is like an accumulation of two boys but there's even like I figured I might have to buy like the plain white onesies and there's even the plain white onesies in here so Melissa if you're watching this thank you this is like the most amazing gift honestly anyone could give I don't have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. It's all right here. This is so great. You guys, I did not get to do this with Shay because she came so early. I didn't organize any of her clothes. I actually didn't even wash any of her clothes by the time she got here. So this feels so good to like be able to get this done before the baby gets here. So that's what we're going to do. I just realized I never mentioned this. My husband's office was moved in here 
we it's usually in the guest bedroom but i had moved it in here to finish the guest bedroom i was doing a video with castlery and we just haven't moved it out so we were thinking we might keep it in here while he is still sleeping in our bedroom because he won't really be up here but then I was thinking what we usually do, because we do use the snoo at night, which is the smart bassinet, which kind of like, long story short, just makes me feel much better because they're like strapped down and strapped in. But what I did with Shay was we would use the snoo at night and then she would sleep in her crib, like in her room for daytime naps. So she was used to her crib, comfortable with her crib. I felt comfortable because I was awake while she was <laughs> sleeping in there. So I think we might do the same for our baby boy, but for now, his office is here. We might have to move it back into the guest bedroom, but he's literally been working in this awkward spot for a while because we've had people coming to visit and staying in our guest bedroom. It's kind of nice that he doesn't have to like kick them out so he can work. So anyway, that's why it's in here. Our glider has made it in. I'm so excited to get this put together. I'll show you guys once we have it all put together. The curtains for our nursery just arrived. I got these also from two pages. I say also because I just posted a video recently ordering some for our um, living room. And I liked them a lot, so I ended up ordering them for our nursery as well. I got this really beautiful like gray-blue color. I feel like it's coming off more gray in the camera. But I'll show it with you kind of like up in the nursery. It just kind of like blends into the walls, which is something that I really prefer when it comes to curtains is for them not to stand out. I know that might sound strange. Um, we did do a standout curtain in Shay's nursery. We got pink, but I, my preference is to kind of do more tonal so that the furniture can do more of the talking and if there's just like a neutral background for it. We did also order a Roman shade that's this matching fabric that's blackout, but that is not here yet. So we're gonna go ahead and hang these up because the sun, the nursery is like right above this room and the sun comes blasting in in the middle of the day and it's just so hot in there so we figured we can close these at least now that we have them to keep some of the like heat out because they are thermal blackout which will be nice so we're gonna go hang them up Love them. Do you love them? Love them. <laughs> also, this tree outside the window is such a vibe. Trees like taken out. I know. Hey, Hobbs. This curtain track that we have is a one track from the IKEA Vidka system, and it is. These um, curtains are blackout thermal, so they're very heavy. And the one track isn't, it just seems like it's drooping a little bit, so I might have to replace that with the triple track just to give it more girth. <laughs> girth, as they say. But this looks great. I'm so in love with the color. I feel like it looks girth. <laughs> so it looks really good with the, the blue of the nursery, so. I also didn't mention we already set up the the glider that we have here i need to cut off that tag on the pillow it's like bothering me but um yeah we got the glider in i think it looks really good too it's just more of a unique shape than the other glider that i have which i actually really love the other one that we have in shay's room but i just wanted to do something a little bit more fun in here this has storage and yeah it swivels it rocks I'm really excited about it. Okay, I'm back in the nursery. I'm gonna try and fold, just organize the baby's clothes. Like I feel like we have so many, which again, I'm so grateful for, but I like kind of grouped them all in kind of like a big, it was like newborn to three months. And now I'm realizing I don't have enough room in the top drawer for everything. So I'm trying to do like newborn section, zero to three months, and then three months will go down below. So I'm just going to try and get organized.
fully organized. And I am so excited. Like this gives me so much joy to see everything organized like this. I know exactly what I have, what sizes each everything is. And I know I keep saying this, but like, man, my sister really came through because this is a ridiculous amount of clothes that I did not even have this much for Shay. Um, granted, she did have two boys, so this is like accumulation of two different babies, but it's just so nice. So we have everything organized exactly as we want it. These are like a little bit older, I think three to six months. Just some more clothes over there. And then pajamas, burp cloths, bibs, more of these little mini washcloths that we can use during changing, hats, just some pacifiers, other accessories, medical or just like health related items. And then I need to get him some socks. I realize I don't have that many socks for him. So socks will go in there. And then these other drawers, I just kind of threw in. So I have like swaddles and bedding. These are more swaddles, different like sleep sacks, and then just other random stuff, honestly. Blanket. This is just some extra like onesies that or basic and I didn't want to get rid of, but these are like preemie clothes. So if he does come early, I at least have like a starter set for him and preemie. So yeah, it feels so good. Like it literally feels amazing. And then in here, his closet, I have finally gone through everything and we have all of the clothes that I've already gone through. Six to nine months, nine to 12, 12 to 18. 18 to 24 so yeah and then just some shoes up here that I need to figure out what to do with so man this feels great okay so I am going to end this part of the vlog here because the rest of the week I need to get my my bedroom set up so like setting up the snoo this changing area like our room share set up and I'm also going to pack my hospital bag because literally it's Monday today and he could come, or based on what Shay came, could come as early as Thursday. So we will see. I think he's going to stay in. I feel like we, I've been doing everything, just being a little bit more cautious about my activity level, sitting down, like just doing less overall this time. Other, other than the fact that I do have a toddler, so that's been a little, you know, you kind of have to like chase your toddler around. Yeah, I'm manifesting him coming later and coming closer to his due date. I'm guessing 37 weeks that is like the number that i keep seeing in my mind so we'll say we'll see if it's 37 weeks which is that week of thanksgiving by the way so we will see but um feels good to have his nursery set up before i go i actually meant to bring this up because it's just kind of ironic if you've been following my vlog for some time now so those of you who've been following kind of this journey with this pregnancy probably remember me telling you how the high risk OB was freaking me out about how big this baby was going to be and like freaking me out to the point that they told me to get an early gestational diabetes test because he's so big that he it's I guess being a bigger baby has is a indicator that it could be gestational diabetes and so I did that I, I don't have gestational diabetes but the point I'm trying to make is now, when I go in for measurements, those of you who've been pregnant before know that they take two types of measurements. One is just a measure of the bump on the outside of the body, so it's not through an ultrasound. It's like they just take a tape measure over your bump. And based on how big your bump is, just like on the outside, they have like a guesstimated, like he's 29 weeks, for example, which saying it out loud sounds kind of like a really not accurate way to measure. But anyway, so that's what they do. And then they also have the second way to measure is to do a full ultrasound and to take pictures of the baby and like measure within the uterus, like through the ultrasound, which is a more accurate way to do it. But it's just so crazy to me because if you measure, the measurements that my doctor, like my OB has been getting, have been all over the board. So if they measure outside the bump, so just like with the tape measure, I am measuring like he's behind. So they were saying like he's only 20%, like 20 percentile. And that's significant because they start to worry that is the baby growing. There was one appointment that I went in and she said, yeah, he's measuring 29 weeks. And I was like 30 
two or something at the time and she was like i'm not worried but why don't we just send you to get an ultrasound and i'm like sitting there thinking like if you're not worried why are you sending me to get another ultrasound but they did the ultrasound and he measured at 52 percentile which is above the growth chart so it's like on my bump he was measuring 20 20 percentile on the ultrasound he was measuring 50 something percentile i don't know i just feel like the measurements are like all over the board so i'm now trying to just put it out of my mind because at this point at, i'm 34 weeks almost 35 weeks that it just kind of like is what it is at this point but i just am curious like has anyone else out there had their doctor take such different measurements every single time you go in that it's like not really making any sense because i'm like I don't know what's going on here so i go to see my ob tomorrow so hopefully it's some good news but anyway i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys are having a good one and a good start to your holiday season and i will see you guys on my next vlog